Welcome back to Kids Corner here at the Ward World Championship. Um, keeping in line with our bird theme and our recycling theme, um, we're going to make a rocking robin. Yay, you see what is a rocking robin? This is a rocking robin. And because this is the World Championship, um, I have my life-size bird and I have my miniature. So you can make these little guys in all different sizes. So what you need is cardboard, but not the big box kind. This was made out of a pizza box and not the kind that you get from a pizza store, but a frozen pizza box because you want to have the thinner kind of cardboard. You don't want what we call the corrugated cardboard, which we will show you later, or I'll show you right now, what this little guy's made of, which is another project. We want to have the thinner because we want to be able to um, bend it and have it rock for us. And if we had the heavier cardboard, we wouldn't be able to do that. So, um, this is my rocking robin. And as you can see, I have painted him after I cut him out. The next one I'm going to do with you today, I'm not going to paint. I'm going to actually use the color of the cardboard. And if you really observe it, and you've got a good imagination, it was a cheese pizza. <laughs> so our bird is going to be yellow and black, kind of like a goldfinch. So you say, all right, I've got my pizza box. Or you could use like a cereal box. That would be the same thin cardboard. You're going to want to use like I've said before, templates. The template is just a shape that you're using to um, come out with your finished product. So my bird is, it consists of circles, two different sizes, triangle, some rectangles that I kind of cut off at the end to make little arrows, and a heart that is cut in half to make the wings. So what I did was I used a plate. I took my cardboard and made a circle for my body. And then I took another thing. This was like a top that would be the right size for a head because you want to make sure you get one that balances in size. And so I used this and I made two circles because I need one for either side of the body. Because as you can see, he's not all the way flat together. He's open so you can do the rocking part. And then I cut out my triangle and I made a heart and then put it down and traced my heart. And that way I'm sure that both of the wings are the exact same size and shape. So then I have my heart, which I then cut for the two wings. And then my little rectangles for the tail. And then this guy is um, sometimes when you're using the cardboard, uh, what will happen is with the weight and everything, it will open like this too far. Too far and then he doesn't really rock very well. So you want to be able to keep him like this guy. And what I used this for was, I added a little piece underneath that kept the two sides closer together. A brace. And that's what I'm going to use today. So, what you need when you make this is your cardboard box, your little uh, plates and cups, rulers to make your shapes, a pencil to 
draw the shape scissors to cut your shapes out and then um, you can use white glue it would be a little more difficult because the cardboard is kind of slippery and you would have to hold things in place for a while so uh, the faster way of doing it is to use a glue gun so if you're doing this with your little buddy you can have them practice cutting out the cardboard if you were able to find a piece that's not too thick and they have strong hands. Otherwise, wait until the end when you do the feathering on the tail or the painting because um, you don't want them doing the hot glue. So we're going to start with the body. It's folded in half and we're going to add this guy first to get the um, it's some strength here. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to fold a little end on either side that I'm going to be gluing to the inside of the bird. So you just put half glue along the one side and you're going to put it towards the back and towards the bottom. Can you see that? Here, I'll hold this up a little bit so you can see better color-wise. So I've got it towards the back and towards the bottom. Once I've got that one side in, I'm going to glue the other. And so now I have my brace. So now it's going to keep this bird, and the reason I put it in the back is um, you're going to want to balance the front and the back. So the head is a little heavier than the tail. So uh, having it in the back will give the back part of your bird a little more weight and stability. So when I add the head and the bill, it will rock a little evenly. So next part is your head. And what you're going to want to do, I'm going to turn mine into a goldfinch. And yes, you're going to be using your imagination here. So I'm going to put the black part, that's going to be the head part of my goldfinch. So I want to put in an eye. Um, I'm going to use a permanent marker today, but you can, if you're using paint and you're painting the whole thing, you use the paint. So all you have to do is do an eye on either side of your bird. And when you start working with this, you'll realize that you have to use like the permanent marker or the acrylic paint because the other ones would be too slippery on the waxy cover that they put on the boxes. So I'm going to take my bill and I'm going to fold it in half. So then I'm going to, looking at my head, I'm going to put hot glue on one end of the, the beak that's going to go attached to the head. And you judge this where your eyeball is, and you put your beak, let me see if it's easier to see, and you're going to put your beak about level with the eyeball. So then you turn them over, you hot glue the end of the beak again, that's on the inside of the head. Take your head and you kind of eyeball to make sure you're kind of getting matching the surface together and the eyeball is up kind of where it's supposed to be. So you have the beak in and then you want to hot glue the inside of the head at the top don't glue all the way around yet. And, uh, and the reason being is that you have to um, position it onto the body correctly. So now we have the head. Oops. And as you can see, he's glued around the top part of the head and the mouth, leaving this part open because I'm going to be putting it onto the body. But I'm going to go ahead and go and put the tail in first. 
What I did on this guy, I painted both sides. This one, I didn't paint both sides. I'm using the black from the box. So I'm going to put the, put it so what you'll be seeing is the black part and the white part will be inside and you won't be able to see the white too much. So what you want to do is glue the very end and then make sure you're down on the end where you put your base, your little base thing. And you just put it right up here at the top. And you can put it at a little angle, but you don't want to put it leaning down too far because it will affect how it rocks. So then that's in. And as you can already see, that added weight has started to make the um, bird tilt towards the back, towards the bottom. And you just put some glue on that side, stick him in. And whoa, so he's all the way down. So you can see the weight is now that he's not going to rock. So that's where the head will come in. Here, you're going to kind of set it up just to see where you're going to put the head first. So you open it up and you put it on here and holding it, you'll see already it picked up from the, the thing. So this looks like a good placement. I've kind of lined up where the eyeball is going down to where the belly is. So I'm going to stick glue on both sides here. And then slide the head on. Now, let's see. <gasps> and he's even out. The weight has him even now. So he's going to rock for me. And we're almost done. Now we're just placing the wings. And as you see, I have the black. And I cut it out where the lettering was. But I thought, well, you know, if you use your imagination, you can think that those are the feathers. So what you want to do is put the glue at this top part here. You don't need to, whoa, you don't need it down at the bottom. And then what you're going to do is take it and place it behind the head and have the point up where the fold is. And this wing is going up a little bit. And so then I'm going to um, glue the other wing same way, right up at the top. And I'm going to line him up with my other wing. And I might not have it all the way up matching. You can see his wing isn't all the way up. It's showing just a little bit. But here he is. Here is my goldfinch. And he's a rocking goldfinch, just like my rocking robin. So when you make your bird, Decide what kind of bird it is that you want to make and then paint it that way. Or use the colors of the box and make your own. Have fun.